Pretty Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Help me! Help me! Howdy, baby. Howdy. Let's keep it working. Let's go! Let's go! No! No! I already threw the ball, sir. Coming into week two of the season, there was definitely a lot more pressure coming into this game after facing our first loss of the season in week one. I hate to say it, but I felt like our entire offensive unit and our OC were on the hot seat this week because we didn't score any points offensively in week one. All that said, we were playing at home in front of our awesome fans in Querétaro, and we are facing a team from Mexico City that also had their first loss of the season in week one. Everyone has to be ready. Everyone has to be ready. I felt like we had a good week in practice. We were a little bit beat up because we had three full contact practices, including the quarterback being live during the week leading up to this game. But I guess that's just how they do things here in Mexico. Let's go. All in all, I was really excited to be getting the chance to play in front of the fans here in Querétaro for the first time and to be able to have my family back home being able to watch and support me play. I see. I felt bad because the referee here asked me in Spanish not to go into the middle of the field and wave the flags, but we did anyway. We live. Here's me taking in the moment, getting ready for the national anthem. Let's go. We got the crowd here. I didn't realize it until now, but my boy Jermaine looking like Frozo. Where's my super soup? Frozo! Yeah! Let's go, baby. It's game time. Hey, my girlfriend's sitting right over there. Let's get one thing straight. That's actually my ex-girlfriend. Damn, it is what it is. Let's go, Gibby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's have a is, baby. Day. Let's go. Leading up to the coin toss, I could tell that some of my teammates were a little bit nervous for the game. It's important to remember that nerves are okay, and it's always good to be positive and encouraging as a teammate. Good luck, bro. Okay, have a good game. Have a good game, Max. You're a great route runner. Okay. It's now time to get this game kicked off, man. Big shout out to my boy, Cabante Pope. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of him more in some future videos. Buddy brings the ball all the way out to about the 45-yard line for us to get to work. Yeah, talk your shit, Pope. I'm a big fan of always starting with the ball first, and now it's that time. Tier four, tier four. Hey, I'm throwing it. I'm throwing it. <laughs> That's got to be one of the most embarrassing plays ever. Chips right. Hooters, chips right. Lago. Lago, Lago, Lago. Watch 50. 180! I noticed the Mexica's defense came out right away, playing us very similarly to how the Reyes played us in week one of the season. They were only rushing four and dropping seven into coverage. <laughs> we worked on pass protection all week after struggling immensely in week one. It was frustrating missing my starting left tackle and also coming out and getting sacked on this first series on third down. I wanted, I wanted a better protection so in this quarter in the second we're gonna use a running back to that okay, okay. after being forced to punt the mexicas came out really explosive on their first drive in a matter of just two plays they're able to drive the full length of the field and almost get the chance to get in the end zone big shout out to our defense on this first drive for only holding them to a field goal it was now time to hit the field again for drive number two i might throw this i might throw this i'm throwing it i'm throwing it hey hey let's go Omaha, 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 this side. Negro, Negro, 180. This past week in practice, we installed a lot more QB run plays to give myself the chance to use my legs. P, Texas 2. P, Texas 2. Hey. <laughs> it still haunts me to this day knowing that this could have been the first touchdown of the 2023 football season, but it all got called back because of a penalty. No! No! I already threw the ball, sir. I already threw the ball. Yolando display. I was doing everything I could, even speaking Spanish incorrectly, trying to plead my case and to tell the official that I threw the ball before the O lineman was downfield. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, we are now facing a second and 15, and this is now where the Clark and Pope connection begins. Let him cook. Greedy T, watch 31. Now facing a third and eight again, the Mexicas only bring four pressure and they almost get to me. Sometimes as a quarterback, you got to make a man miss and make a play, man. Big shout out to my boys downfield blocking for me. 
Also, y'all, I need you to rate down in the comment section what you give my coach for this towel throw here. Man, we definitely got to work on that towel throw there, Coach Ruben. Come on. Why oh not? <laughs> this play was designed to get some nice yardage, but unfortunately, Buddy ends up tearing his MCL here. Turfmeister got his ass. Here we go again, third and long. They bring four, and we got six in protection. And we're still struggling to figure it out, man. There definitely was some miscommunication on the right side. We got to get it fixed. Come on. You in on rail or grabs, coach? I need Pope's in if we're calling grabs. Yeah. I cannot have my best receiver be on the sidelines when we're calling plays, when we're taking shots downfield, man. I don't know what else to say. ISO four, split right, ISO four, ready? Right there. Teach tape. If both these receivers here block, my boy Trey is scoring here. Big shot to Trey for making this hell of a run and the O-line blocking. Come on, receivers. <laughs> Not to worry, though. Two plays later, we get Trey 5 in the end zone for the first touchdown on offense in 2023. Mashika's take the field again, and this time our defense has got a big statement for them. Shout out to the boys forcing a fumble and the kid Lawrence picking it up, man. Now it's time to go get down another score. This one hurts, man. I put way too much air under this ball and had Pope open way early. Shake my head, man. These are the kind of tackles that happen all the time down here in Mexico. Now facing a third and long again. What do you know? They rush four, and I still get pressure. So you boys got to run and try to make a play to get the first down. Let's talk about some teach tape again. If this buddy here is blocking, we're scoring. Come on now. Good run, Trey Five. Pretty tea. It's now time for Peso Pope to get his payday. Come on now. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Good job! Let's go! Good offense! Good offense! Thank you, coach. Good call. And Mashika's had the ball for one last final drive before headed into halftime here. Buddy almost makes an incredible throw here and the receiver an even better catch. But shout out to the football gods, man. That ball hit the ground. The defense forced another punt and we are heading into halftime now up 14 to three. Let's go Giles Negros, baby. Now this is funny, y'all. The cameraman doing their job, finding a pretty little lady in the stands during halftime. Yeah. On to the start of the second half. I was really proud with how our defense played in the first half, only holding the Mexicas to three points. They definitely were giving up big plays throughout the entire game, but when it came down to the red zone, they were really doing a good job shutting down the Mexicas overall. After forcing the Mexicas to punt on their first drive coming out of halftime, you hate to see this. The ball rolls all the way down to the one yard line, but he downs the ball while he's in the end zone, and I don't know why, but for some reason, they still downed it at the one. So we're backed up, but shout out to my boy Fonz for this big boy run right here. Let's go, my boy. Don't get me started again on this teach tape, man. If Buddy would have been going all out 100% from the beginning, Fonz would have scored on this play, man. Come on. You piss me off, 81. Now, I don't want you guys to think I complain all the time to these referees, man. I try to do my best to always try to have conversations and talk with them because as the game goes on, it's good to build a relationship with the referees that are helping you out during the game if you want to get some calls down the stretch. We're now faced with another third and eight, and I got another teaching tape clip for y'all. As the receiver slips and we don't convert on third down, your body language is everything as a receiver. Don't do this shit. Can we get Pope in? What? Can we get Pope in? On verse? Pope? No. No, but uh, you, you don't think Justin Pope, okay? We got uh, a lot of wide receivers yes, sir. with the same capacity. Yes, sir. Almost the same. But they, they, they are good, okay? Yes, sir. So Again, there's nothing more frustrating than not having my best receiver out on the field during the entire game. But when in doubt, we forced to punt, but there's a rough in the punter penalty. So again, our offense is going back out to work. This plays on me, man. We were talking about hitting RPOs all game, and I forced this ball. I definitely got to work on my tackling drills. Good lord. Defense gets out onto the field again, and they make a huge stop on fourth down and force a fumble. So we just keep giving the ball back and forth, back and forth with the Mexicas. This is also now where things started to get chippy throughout the game with a little bit of late contact on both sides of the ball. Okay, okay. Yeah. Check with me. Chichi, Chichi, Chichi. Don't move. 
Why not? We managed to successfully get the Mexicas to jump off sides to get a free play, but what do you know? For some reason, I have my third string receiver in the game, so we don't get the chance to take advantage of the free play. Here we go. Now facing a third and short, your boy gets the ball batted down and we don't convert. This is definitely when the frustration started to kick in. Go. Damn. 52 too much in the box. Go inside. At this point, this is definitely where the big momentum shift happens in the game. We snap the ball over our punter's head. He gets absolutely laid out. I'm talking poor guy is laying on the ground, got the wind knocked out of him, and then some. Good Lord. Now, the Mashikas then get the ball in our own red zone. And in a matter of just two plays, they're able to get themselves a touchdown in the end zone. Touchdown! It was at this point in the game where Pope and I decided on the sideline that we had to take things into our own hands. We decided to run a cap uncapped concept where he's either going to take the ball vertically if he can beat him one-on-one, -on -one, but because the Mexicas were bailing so much, he would curl it up at 15 yards to get the ball moving down the field. Now facing another third and long here on a big statement drive for us as an offensive unit. My boy Deshaun makes a hell of a catch here, but my boy... Don't do this. I know Power. you're trying to pass the ball to the ref, but bro, that's stupid. Power. I know you hit one on purpose too, dog. And now you're going to act like you didn't do anything. Come on, bro. You know what you did. Now I tried my best to go try to sweet talk the referees. No, it was an accident. He was trying to pass it to the referee. And I'll tell you what, none of that worked, man. They were laughing at me trying to defend my boy. Okay. It was an accident. He was trying to pass it to the referee. I'm beyond frustrated at this point in the game. One thing I really need to do a better job of is having better body language, especially being the leader of the team. Guys are going to look at me, and when my body language is bad, it's going to look bad on the rest of the team. Now here's where things start to get a little bit crazy. The Mashika's got the ball five minutes left, down four points, and Buddy comes up with a big interception to get us the ball back. Now, you can tell this guy's a DB because if he was on the offensive side of the ball, he'd be absolutely embarrassed from this thing. Watch this replay again. But he really didn't want no smoke. Good lord. Now we got the ball back. So this is our one last drive that we got to take down the field to put this game away. Shout out to my boy Fonz making this big run and the O-line doing their good job blocking. We were starting to really feel good at this game like we had it in the bag. But unfortunately, I pulled the ball here on a big mistake when I should have just handed it off. I thought I could beat six to the outside. And now we've got ourselves in a second and long situation. Now, yet again, the Mashikas have started to figure out what we're doing offensively, just trying to run the clock, which is just to the two minutes. We had to punt. Now they got the ball with 58 seconds left. My goodness. Fourth and eight. Quarterback drops back to pass and throws an absolute dime on a post corner route. Unfortunately, we had a backup safety in there, number 21, so they definitely attacked him. And the Mashikas officially take the lead for the first time all game. It's now time for the offense to take the field because all we got to do is get ourselves in field goal range. We got to get out of bounds. We just got to get in field goal range. Trips right. Rayo, Rayo, shout. Ready? Rayo, Rayo. Like I said, sweet talking with the referees and building a relationship with them all game definitely helped me get this bailout call on the side. Got it. <laughs> the O-line was doing a hell of a job on this last final drive, helping give me some time to get the ball all the way down the field. I was proud of the offense for not giving up and doing our best that we could to get our boy into field goal range. Everything happens for a reason, man. When it comes down to it, things just didn't go our way and the field goal was blocked. And that was the final score, 17 to 14. The Mexicas came in and upset us. Y'all need some DBs? No cap. Want to trade them out? It's always funny, man. All of us imports always be talking after the games, talking about if it's possible to get traded and whatnot. Fuck, bro. That was... They're going to blame that on me, man. Nah, I'm it. I'm it. Nah, you straight. Yeah, I just need some more weapons. This is the one play that's really gonna haunt me, man. I should have beat this guy with my athleticism to the outside. It was cool to get the chance to see some of my old teammates as well as while editing this video, taking a trip down memory lane with this little lady right here. Muchas gracias. All right, that's it. Tough, tough loss. Week two. We gotta go back to the drawing board. And get better next week. Thank y'all for showing them support. Cut.